Hello, my name is Dells, and I'm back with more Crash Bandicoot, and it looks like this is the finale, and I actually went through the Great Hall, and that turns out it has a true ending kind of cutscene, so I'll go back to that one, but I apparently the recording bugged, so it didn't save any of that, so now I'm at the final boss. I haven't actually beat him yet, but I've gone, like, Die halfway through him before I noticed that it wasn't working properly, so I'm just gonna do it again. Okay, there. I've only got enough to like his fourth phase for his health bar, so it's sort of get the fight. It's not as easy. Well, I'm making it look easy now. I guess now that the pressure's back on, I just have to do what I was already doing. Okay. And I got my damage boost. I lost a bunch of lives, but that's kind of to be expected at that point. Fight. So after finishing this, then I'll go show the cutscene that I want for uh, having every gem cleared. <laughs> Which is in the Great Hall, and you can do it before fighting the boss. Hi. <laughs> okay, I only need to do that one, that was kind of surprising. Well, those 16 lives I spent prior kind of seem like almost tedious since I just did it on the first try. That's kind of awkward. Okay, so that's the cutscene that you get for uh, just beating the game without getting all the gems. So now once the credits are done here, I can go show the cutscene that appears when you get every gem for area and then go back to the Great Hall after the credits roll, I guess, because that's a thing that's happening now. I kind of want to kill a bunch of time anyway because this is only like two minutes in and I figured it would have taken notably longer than this, but yeah, I could just let the credits play. It's probably good. I'm Shot of the Dark. I'm going to assume his nickname isn't actually Laserfest Axe Breaker. Just throwing that out there. Call me skeptical, but I think that some of these people who have nicknames on here aren't actually their nickname. But I was kind of hoping that the final boss had an extra form because he seemed almost too easy because he only had really two difficult phases, and other than that, it's just a standard avoidment type thing, kind of similar to what I did in a lot of the earlier boss fights. It just wasn't too difficult. All I literally had to do was run side to side and then jump, and then I avoided in one phase, and then he just, the last section was just all of the shots could be deflected. So I just had, I just had to hit one, and then. I was good, but well, I guess it's kind of upsetting that it's such a. I was going to say it was kind of an anticlimactic ending because I had a lot more trouble with his assistant because it had like a much more complicated fight pattern to it. 
two are shorter, admittedly, because once you get past the slime phase, and then if you figure out to jump on him, the fight's pretty short, so it's, I guess, the last fight's longer, but... That's just because you have to wait for the right thing to deflect back. And they're a bit more scattered. So pretty much the marketing page. I guess that means that we're almost through the credits because now it's starting to get to the separate studios, so not too much longer to wait and then I'll show the full jam ending. Remember when I said it was almost over? I guess I was wrong because apparently there's a bunch. I figured it was kind of winding down the way they were presenting it, but I did not expect this huge just wall of names. But I still think it's good to show the credits off, especially if there's anything after them. Although the skin may just jump right to whatever that would happen to be. I don't know. Luckily, the other ending doesn't have the credits afterwards, so it's just kind of a scene and then it shows. Uh, I'll probably. Won't. I'll just save it until I actually get to it. There's the mic. I kind of wish I had the option to like speed up the credits and not necessarily just skip them all together because I still think it's good to show the credits just for anybody who's interested. I'm not really sure if that's a common trait, but uh. and again, I'm just kind of killing time because it would have been like a four minute video overall and since I didn't realize how short the boss fight actually was. Had it not bugged out earlier during all of my failed attempts, I would have probably had plenty of time to show off, but I just kind of suddenly became pro for this one single attempt that I was not ready for. I guess I could say, I think I'm gonna put off the last two games for a little bit, though. I kind of want to switch things up since I've been focusing on this game a lot. It's kind of had quite a few frustrating moments, so... And since there's like so much stuff that I do outside of the game, since I pretty much got all the special gems so that I could get unlock the true ending, it just seems like... It just seems like something I'm not really... didn't... eager to jump right into for two more games right away. I guess what that makes Sure, I'll pick up the other two eventually because it's just something I kind of plan to do anyway since I've never actually played this game series. I can certainly see a lot of the appeal though, but it's just kind of seemed more frustrating and it seemed like if I wanted to show everything off properly it would take so much time and so much just kind of trial and error that it just doesn't seem worth it at points. It's kind of fitting that the sound, or the background sounds have changed as they get to the soundtrack <laughs> section. Uh, 
so I guess I apologize for this being two minutes of a boss fight and then ten minutes of credits. I, again, this is not exactly how I planned things out. I figured I would have died like three or four times and then it would have just kind of worked itself out. But... I'm actually surprised I didn't even get hit in the last section, I don't believe. Because... Like, prior to that, when I was doing the attempts that didn't work, I just could not hold on to damage boost at all because the pattern was so off and kind of awkward. It's just kind of like for the one time I wasn't ready for it, it threw me the perfect run. Uh, the best times for the staff is kind of interesting. Except it also shows the best times for the games that I haven't played yet, so that's cool, I guess. And now I'm distracted by Toad. The <laughs> Sphinx in anger. And now we're at the end. There's just like a wave of trademarks that they have to go for which are... All right, Ben sent me back to Island, so now I just gotta stop over to the Great Hall and then I'll show the other ending. So since I kind of accidentally skipped this one due to the kind of air that was out of my control, I'll just kind of... So normally if you don't have the, all the gems done, then you just go straight to there and it looks like you go to the last boss. But if you do have all 26 gems from every level, just follow the path here. Therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write the wide received book Through the Eye of the Vortex, a study of rapid evolution and its consequences. Yeah. Kuala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently, he is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Pinstray moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He is saving money for his upcoming gubernat. Campaign. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitrous Brio rediscovered his first love, Tending Bar. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash Flow's plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. Full disclosure, I forgot what his evil plans were. I don't remember what the purpose of him was. I assume he was rapidly evolving animals to like take over the world or something, and that's kind of how the others came about, but I also do not remember. But that's the end of that, so thanks for watching everybody, and I guess I'll pick up this, the other two games another time. So thanks for watching, and